In this video, we will be going over the answers to Grade 6, Chapter 9, Lesson 3, Area of Trapezoids, Independent Practice, Pages 688 through 689. Independent Practice Lesson 3, Question 1. Find the area of each trapezoid. Round to the nearest tenth if necessary. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is one half of the sum of base one and base two multiplied by the height. When we look at our trapezoid here, the bottom would be considered base one and the top would be considered base two. And the dotted line that is perpendicular to the base is 12, and that is the height. Now, what we're really doing here is actually finding the area of a parallelogram. When I put the, if I flip and rotate the trapezoid and line it up correctly, I get a parallelogram, as you can see right here. So what we can do is find the area of a parallelogram first, and we already know that, that formula. The area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. Well, we know the height, the height's here, 12. So we have 12 yards. But now the base, the base is actually 23 right here and then this little piece is redrawn over here, and that's five yards. So that's where we get in our formula. We're getting this, base one plus base two. And in this case, 23 plus five is 28 yards. Now we have to multiply. So we can multiply 28 by 12 and we're going to get 336 and yards by yards equals yards squared. Now that would be the area for the entire parallelogram, but the trapezoid is only half of a parallelogram and I'm going to indicate that in green now. The trapezoid is really half of the parallelogram. Okay. So what can I do? Well, I can divide by half. Now you may see it multiplying by a half and dividing by two are the same thing. So I could also just go like this and write a two here, because that's divide by two. And when I do that, my answer will be 168 yards squared. So this is how we get that formula. Question number two, find the area of each trapezoid. So here's our formula for a trapezoid. To help us visualize, I'm going to duplicate and turn our trapezoid around. So we have, this is going to be base one. And this is going to be base two. And it, base two is going to be 1.1 centimeters. Okay. And notice how now I have a parallelogram. And we know that the formula for the area of a parallelogram equals the base times the height. And then after we figure that out, we're just going to divide it by two. To get the area of the trapezoid. So let me erase this. And we'll go back to our formula here. So we're looking for the area, so that stays A, 1 half times, base 1 is 3.4 
centimeters plus base 2, 1.1 1 .1 centimeters times the height, and the height is 2 centimeters. So area equals 1 half times 4.5 centimeters times 2 centimeters. Now I'm going to wait. I'm not going to multiply it by a half just yet. 1 half times 4 and a half times 2 is 9, and centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. Now, this 9 centimeters squared is the area of the entire parallelogram, okay? That whole parallelogram is 9 centimeters squared, but I only want half of the parallelogram because half of the parallelogram is the trapezoid. So I do 1 half times 9 and I get 4.5 centimeters squared. Question 3. Find the area of each trapezoid. Round to the nearest tenth if necessary. Now I might end up rounding now because if you look here, I have um, values that are in the hundredths place. Okay, so here we have our formula. And to help us visualize, I'm going to duplicate and turn our trapezoid. So this would be base one, and this is base two, and that's 17.75 meters. So the area equals one half times 10.25 plus 17.75 meters, meters, times eight meters. So the area equals one half times, and we have to add 10.25 plus 17.75, that's 28, now because of the commutative property of multiplication, I'm actually going to multiply one half times 8 first, and I'm going to get 4 meters times 28 meters, and we have 28 times 4, and that's 112, and meters times meters is meters squared and I don't need to round. Question four. A trapezoid has an area of 150 square meters. If the bases are 14 meters and 16 meters, what is the height of a trapezoid? Okay. So here we have a trapezoid. Its area equals 150 meters squared, and the bases are 14 meters and 16 meters, and we want to know what the height is. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this, and now I, can, I know that this is going to be base 1, and 14 meters is going to be base 2. So I can plug this information into my formula. 150 meters squared equals 1 half times 16 meters plus 14 meters. And I don't know what the value for h is for the height. Okay, So I have 150 
50 meters squared equals 1 half times 30 meters times the height. So 150 meters squared equals 15 meters times the height. Now I'm going to divide by 15 meters on both sides. Okay, that cancels each other out. And the height equals um, 10. And remember, this is meters squared, which is meters times meters over meters. So I can cross that off, so I just have meters left, which makes sense because height is a linear measurement. So the height of this trapezoid is 10 meters. Question five, a trapezoid has an area of 400 square millimeters. The bases are 14 millimeters and 36 millimeters. What is the height of the trapezoid? So here we have our formula and here we have our trapezoid. The area equals 400 millimeters squared. One of the bases is 14 millimeters and the other base is 36 millimeters. I'm going to show you another trapezoid, the same trapezoid, so that way you can see the two bases at the bottom to make the parallelogram. So this would be base one and this is base two and we're being asked to find the height. And remember the height is perpendicular to the two bases. So the height equals question mark. Alrighty, so we have 400 millimeters squared times one half, oops, sorry, equals one half times 36 millimeters plus 14 millimeters times the height. So we have 400 millimeters squared equals one half times 50 millimeters times the height. So that's 400 millimeters squared equals half of 50 is 25 millimeters times H. Now I'm gonna divide by 25 millimeters and 25 millimeters cancels it out on the right, so I have just H. 400 divided by 25 is 16, okay? And then here I have millimeters squared divided by millimeters just gives me millimeters because I have two up top and one down below. So the answer is that the height is 16 millimeters. Question six, find the area of the patio shown. All right, so here we have the patio and let's just say they wanna put concrete down. They need to figure out the area. So to help us out, I'm going to duplicate the area and of the trapezoid and, and flip it. All right, so uh, base one and base two well, base one is going to be here, and that's going to be 22 and a half feet. All right, so now we have the area equals one half times 22 and a half feet plus. 25 feet times the height, and the height is 19 and 4 fifths feet. All right, so now I have the area equals 1 half times 47 and a half feet times 19 and 4 fifths feet, all right? Now, 
I just have to tell you, because I'm looking at these fractions, I'm going to change my color real quick here. 47 and a half actually equals 47.5. And 19 and 4 fifths equals 19 point, okay, this is 4 fifths equals 4 divided by 5. So that's 8 tenths, so it's 19 and 8 tenths. See, when I saw the 1 half here, and I know that this is um, a, a terminating decimal that's pretty easy to work with, I'm thinking to myself, okay, why am I, I should just change these into decimals. So that's what I'm going to do. So area equals 0 0.5 times 47.5 feet times 19.8 feet because if I do it by hand like if I do it writing down the problem it's so much easier if I do it with a decimal and even typing into a calculator is so much easier if you do it with a decimal so when you see fractions that you can turn into decimals go right ahead and turn them into decimals all right so 0.5 times 47.5 equals all right, so that we have area equals 23.75 feet times 19.8 feet. So we're going to multiply that times 19.8, okay? And you're going to get area equals 470.25 feet squared. Now they did ask us up here to round to the nearest tenth. I mean, I personally don't think you need to round to the nearest tenth because it just ends nicely, but if they're asking you to do that, area equals 470.3 feet squared. Okay. Okay, see now, all right, let me just go back here. So they kind of didn't round it. So notice how we have this, well, what is 25 hundredths? 25 hundredths is one fourth. Okay, so that's the answer as a fraction, and then the answer as a uh, decimal would be 470.25 feet squared. So they, they really didn't round it. All right, there you go. Question number seven, use the diagram that shows the lawn that surrounds an office building. What is the area of the lawn? And B, if one bag of grass seed covers 2,000 square feet, how many bags are needed to seed the lawn? All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is find the area of the trapezoid. Okay, that's the whole trapezoid. Then we're gonna to have to find the area of the square and then take that out of the trapezoid. So let's say that again. Find the area of the trapezoid. Then find the area of the square. And then take the area of the square out. All right, so let's get started. So the area of the trapezoid, I'm going to use green so that we're matching here. All right, so we don't know the area yet. So area equals one half times 140 feet plus 100 feet times the height, which is 80 feet. All right, so this was base one, and this was base two. <clears throat> So now we have area equals one half times 240 feet times 80. So area equals 120 feet times 80 feet. Okay, so 120. 
20 times 80. So the area, oh, I lost my pen, the area equals 9,600 feet squared. And that's for the entire trapezoid. Now we need to find the area of just the box. I'm going to change my color to black here. And I'm going to write it over here. Area equals the base times the height. So here is the base, 50, and the height is 25 because it's a rectangle. So area equals 50 feet times 52 feet. Okay, so you multiply that. 50 times 52 equals 2,600 feet squared. So now what I need to do is do 9,600 feet squared, subtract 2,600 feet squared, and I get 0, 0, 0, comma, 7,000. Okay, so the area of just the green part is 7,000 feet squared. Now, if one bag, one bag of seed covers 2,000 square feet, how many bags are needed to seed the lawn? Okay, now what you're going to do here is you're going to have 7,000 divided by 2,000. Okay, so you have 0, 0, 0, 3 which is 6. Now this has a remainder of 1,000. So now what does that tell me? How many bags do I need? Well, I need more than three, and I can't purchase half of a bag, so I'm going to need four bags. So what I could do here is I also could draw, draw a picture model. So this is 2,000 square feet, 2,000 square feet, 2,000 square feet, 2,000 square feet. So 2, 4, 6, 8. So that's 8,000 square feet, but I need that extra because I have seven. So you need four bags. Question eight, reason abstractly. Tiles are being placed in front of a fireplace to create a trapezoidal hearth. The hearth will have a height of 24 inches and bases that are 48 inches and 60 inches. If the tiles cover 16 square inches, how many tiles will be needed? So this is an excellent example for when we need to draw a picture. Okay, so we have a hearth that has a height of 24 inches and the bases are 48 and 60 inches, okay? So it's height, well, I'll do the height last. All right, so we have 48 and 60. Okay, and the height, I'm going to mark on the outside, the height, is 24 inches, okay? Now, the tiles cover 16 square inches, all right? So let's figure out the area of this 
hearth. So we know that area equals one half times B1 plus B2 times the height. So the area equals one half times 48 inches plus 60 inches times 24 inches. So the area equals one half times 108 inches times 24 inches. So the area equals 54 inches times 24 inches. So the area equals 54 times 24 equals 1,296 inches squared. So that's the area of this whole parallel or whole trapezoid. Now, each tile covers 16 square inches. So I have, I'm going to divide this by 16 square inches. It will look like this. 1,296 divided by, and this is inches squared, and this is 16 inches squared. Now, notice how inches squared and inches squared is going to cancel each other out. And now we're going to, in our calculator, do 1,296 divided by 16 equals 81. And you might ask yourself, well, what's the unit? There is no unit because the question is, how many tiles will there be? And the answer is 81 tiles, okay? Question number nine, draw and label each figure, then find the area. So they want us to draw a trapezoid with no right angles and an area less than 12 square centimeters. Now your answers might vary, so this is just an example answer. Okay, so here's our formula. And if I plug in my numbers, I will have area equals one half times four centimeters plus two centimeters times three centimeters. So the area equals one half times six centimeters times three centimeters. So the area equals three centimeters times three centimeters. So the area equals nine centimeters squared. And that is less than 12 square centimeters. Okay. Question number 10. A trapezoid with a right angle and an area greater than 40 square inches. So here's a sample answer. Notice that I have one of the sides is a right angle. So area equals one half times 12 inches plus eight inches times five inches. Area equals one half times 20 inches times five inches. Area equals 10 inches times five inches. Area equals 50 inches squared, and that is more than 40 square inches. So there you go. Hot problems. Persevere with problems. Apply what you know about rounding to explain how to estimate the height, h, of the trapezoid shown if the area is 
235 and 5 tenths meters squared. The lengths of the bases can be rounded to 20 meters and 30 meters respectively. So we're gonna round this to 30 meters and we're gonna round this to 20 meters. The area can be rounded to 250 meters squared. So I can round that to 250 meters squared. And now I can plug this into my formula. So I have area equals 1 half times base 1 plus base 2 times the height. So I have 250 meters squared equals 1 half 20 meters plus 30 meters times the height. So I have 250 meters squared equals 1 half times 50 meters times h. So I have 250 meters squared equals 25 meters times the height. Now I'm going to divide by 25 meters, divide by 25 meters. The height equals 10, 250 divided by 25 is 10, and meters squared divided by meters is just meters. Okay, so that's right here, divide 250 by 20 plus 30 or 50, and then multiply by two, the height h is about 10 meters. Now I did it a little bit differently. I multiplied this, but either way is good. Basically you're rounding. 12, identify repeated reasoning. Find two possible lengths of the bases of a trapezoid with a height of one foot and an area of nine square feet. Explain how you found your answer. All right, so let's start off with a formula, okay, and go back to our problem. They say that we wanna find two possible answers, okay, for the bases of a trapezoid. Now we know that the height is one foot. and the area is nine square feet. All right, so I'm gonna put in a nine feet squared equals one half times base one plus base two times the height, which is one foot, okay? Now, because of the commutative property, I can actually multiply these two numbers first. So I have nine feet squared equals, what's one half times one? It's one half times base one plus base two, okay? Hold on one sec. Sorry, I got interrupted there for a sec. All right, now, we're going to divide by one half and divide by one half. Now, later on, when you get to algebra, dividing by a half is really multiplying by two, okay? But you can just do nine divided by 0.5 in your calculator and notice that you're not actually dividing it by two, you're dividing it by a half. So you're gonna get 18, all right? So we have 18 equals B1 plus B2. So now all you need to do is figure out two measurements that would give you a value of 18. Now this is feet squared. It's I don't know, that's actually, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna get into it, but that's feet. 
This is feet, because we multiplied by feet here. So this would be feet that cancels each other out. So anyway, that's feet. So you just need two measurements that add up to 18. So we could have 18 equals 9 plus 9. 18 equals 10 plus 8. 18 equals 6 plus 12, and so on. Okay, you just keep going. So, since 9 equals 1 half times 1 times the sum of base 1 plus base 2, the possible lengths have a sum of 18. Sample answers 2 feet and 16 feet, or 8 feet and 10 feet. Thirteen. Reason abstractly. How can you use the formula for area of a parallelogram to determine the area of a trapezoid if you forgot the formula for area of a trapezoid? So we have the trapezoid and we duplicate it. So we would find that the area we find the area of the parallelogram, which is the base times the height, but we would consider this the base. All right, then we would divide by two because we really only want to know half. By knowing the formula for the area of a parallelogram is area equals base times height, I can draw two congruent trapezoids and rotate one so they create a parallelogram. After multiplying the base and height, I can divide by two to find the area of the trapezoid. Question 14, reason inductively. Their area of a trapezoid is 36 square inches. The height is four inches and one base is twice the length of the other base. What are the lengths of the bases? Now remember, before you think something is complicated, just go back to the formula and draw a picture. Take things step by step because sometimes problems that seem difficult aren't that difficult once you start to map it out. So what do we know? We know that the area of the trapezoid is 36 square inches. So I'm going to write 36 inches squared. And I know that this is half. All right, next, the height is four inches. So where I see height, I'm going to write four inches. One base is twice the length of the other. So if the first base is B and the second base has to be twice as long, the second base will be two times B or just 2B. So I have B plus 2B or 2 times B. All right, now I have 36 inches equals 1 half times. This is, there's an invisible one here, okay? B and 1B are the same thing. So if I have 1B plus 2B, that gives me 3B times four inches. So I have 36 inches equals, and I'm gonna do one half times four inches, which is gonna give me two inches. I'm sorry, this should be squared, times three B. I could multiply two times three here, but I'm not going to, because I wanna show you uh, in the end a little bit it's just a better visualization if I don't do that right now. I'm going to divide by two inches and divide by two inches. 36 divided by two is 18, and inches squared divided by inches is just inches. Cancel each other out, and that's 3B. Now I'm going to divide by three, divide by three, and I get that B equals 6 inches. All right. 
So here we have, this is 6, and then 2b would be 2 times 6, which would be 12. So if I go back to my trapezoid, I would have the top base be 6 inches, the bottom base be 12 inches, the height, which is perpendicular to the base, would be 4 inches, and the area is going to be 36 inches squared. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Have a fantastic day, and this is Mrs. Smith signing off.